baby, I love your way. Good song, bro. Yeah, I love, that's my favorite genre of music. Is what, it's, what would you say that time period is? I'll tell you 80s? what it is. No. Tropical. 90s, Yacht Rock. That's Yacht Rock? I think it's music that like. I'm talking Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, it's Yacht Rock. And Crow. Crew. <laughs> and Crow. And Crew. Yeah. Yacht Rock. Really? Yup. And you can type in Yacht Rock on any sort of streaming device and it pulls up baby i love your way and margarita do, 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 do. you know what my favorite song is though hmm. that i just learned by jimmy buffett who i'm addicted to now is come monday come monday it'll be all right i don't know if those are the words but i'm just kind of getting into the swing of that song right now it's not the words yep but I it know, is come monday i know it's not those were the words well let's look into it okay I think it, come Monday, it'll be all right. Come Monday, I'll be holding you tight. Come Monday, it'll be all right. Yep. Come Monday, I'll be holding you tight. Damn. You couldn't have been more spot on. I literally couldn't have said those words more accurately. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-huh, completely. Damn. Good job. Hey, guess what today is? You want me to guess? No, it's just Monday. <laughs> oh. And you know what they say? Come Monday. <laughs> it'll be all right. Come Monday. I'll yes, be holding you yes, tight. Yes, yes. That's what I was trying to tell you this whole time. <clears throat> oh, my I feel gosh. Like you weren't hearing me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wasn't. I was seeing yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I, w I wasn't hearing you. I'm standing with you now, though. Wow. Yeah. Happy Monday, all. Happy Monday, all. Welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. We have got a lot to recap today, so let's get into it. Connor? Yeah, Brooke? I was at your apartment this weekend I know. for the second time ever. I know. And you weren't there. I know. Because Channing was watching Maxine. Yep. Max Marie. Max Marie. While you were, where even were you? You were new in Chicago to Nashville? I did. Yeah, I, did. I had four shows in Chicago last week. Okay. And then I had two shows in Nashville. But you came home in between them? No. Not, okay. Because Chicago to Nashville is like an hour flight somehow. I am learning so much about Wait, but Channing wasn't watching Max when you were in Chicago, was mm -mm. she? No. He was elsewhere occupied. Yeah, Tate was watching him. Okay. And then Tate had some trip. Uh-huh. And I hadn't planned to stay in Nashville, but I... Had to. Due to being fun? Well, I got... <laughs> so Trevor Wallace uh -huh. DM'd me and said, "It's are you staying in Nashville for National Comedy Week? I go, I was not asked to. Okay. <clears throat> and so he was like, you should. Because there's like a lot of people. It's like, a, and to, he's opening for Tom Segura. Does he have the clearance to offer you a space? No. But, but he, he just took it upon himself. He allowed me to go to the show, and I met like the other comics and stuff. So that's good. It's good networking. Um, the show was awesome. Did you perform? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I had two shows at Zany's though, in Nashville. Okay. The night before. Yeah. But then for me to go to the shows the next night, I had to leave the next, the following day. Okay. But it was awesome. Nashville is so awesome. I only went once. I'd never been. To visit Vanderbilt, which like wasn't real. Obviously, I didn't get in there. Okay. Um, I Oh, my God. I remember. I had asked like during the like, this is completely off topic, but now that we're talking about Nashville, at the Vanderbilt orientation, I asked like, is it better to get like a B plus in an advanced class or like an A in a regular? And they said it's better to get an A in an advanced class. And then I said, I'll. I'll head out and then I didn't say for the rest of the orientation even though I flew there so what they said is we hear your question, we hear your let, question. Let, let's let me rephrase your yeah, question let me rephrase it you. and I said sorry to waste your time got an earlier flight back to Philadelphia you know what that's that's Gats giving my professor that said that there's no dumb questions after I asked my question <laughs> yeah yeah I was like that's a good reminder for everyone that there are no dumb questions yeah and then it, moved forward it really is thank you so much okay yeah, that's my only I mean the, the campus is Nashville 
campus is so nice. I didn't go on it. A I Vanderbilt? Dro- oh, it's like gorgeous. I drove past to go get Tex Max. Oh my gosh, you guys. Did I have some Tex Max? In Nashville? Yeah, I like probably wasn't the move, but it was delicious. It was What kind of food are they known for? I think like hot chicken. Hot chicken. Like, like fried spicy chicken. Hot? Like hot, yeah. And also temperature. <laughs> Why yeah. stop there? I wouldn't think they're known for like chicken salad. No, it was all it was all but I mean it wasn't even it wasn't like that unhealthy for you, but oh my gosh, you guys the Tex Max. Have you had Tex Max? I would I had Tex Max in the Texas airport. It was the best quesadilla I've ever had in yeah. my life. You know what? Honestly, people would be like, "But that's you... the only time I've been to Texas." Oh, that's crazy. We have to go. Yeah. Um, people will always be like, "The best barbecue, the best Tex Mex." It's like the best barbecue and the best Tex Mex is gonna be at a gas station in Texas or the airport. Like, uh-huh. honestly, it's never gonna be this restaurant. You sit down, you order. It's gonna be from a gas station, and the guy lives down the street and he it's like his little thing or you know they sell like the pre-made bucky's bucky's has some of the best barbecue i've ever had i've never been to bucky's either where'd you get it sucks because like i don't remember what terminal i was in mm. there's and i was in what it was the, um it was dfw oh, i think I and i was in dfw recently and i was searching everywhere far and far and wide for wherever i had that quesadilla and I couldn't find it because I would have had to take like the train to eight different terminals. What's so and funny I just is I didn't have the time. I was like, Brooke, I guess we'll never know what the restaurant is. I totally forgot. We just type in Dallas Airport Tex Mex. I'm sure there's a lot. That's like a massive airport. Well, no, they're listing chilies and papacitos. Like it's not those. It wasn't chilies. Uh, I wouldn't recognize it. Oh, so we should we should give up? I think I think that might be that might okay. be in our best interest. Okay. But maybe yeah. it was just like a one-time thing meant for me to experience in just that moment. And it's just what I needed at that time in my life. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. Um, one thing I'll say about Tex-Mex, tortillas. Those, tor- those tortillas are a tool. I always get a side of tortillas and I bury my face in them. Because they're hot and soft. You know, Yeah. And you know what reminds me of the passage of time? What? Getting a hot little thing of tortillas and then like how how quickly they become cold and it's like i remember you just moments ago you were a young hot man i guess because they're so thin they lose like you know how thin people get really cold yeah because they don't have fat on their bones yep that's kind of like those tortillas yeah can i get a side of thin people (laughs) yeah would you mind giving me a tortilla with more meat on its bones yeah that would be non isn't that weird yeah and non literally stays hot or longer non is so good Non is so good. I had some non last night with my chicken tikka masala. Or my Why my haven't curry. we tried to fuse Indian and Mexican food? Like non with. I bet there's some sort Tex-Mex. of fusion. What could go wrong? Like that sounds unreal. It's all the same ingredients. It's rice. It's chicken. It's there's some spice Those to seem it. Like two foods that would go together. Like water and water. Color me intrigued, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't put cheese on non bread though. Why? I don't know because society cheese has molded and me into who I am today, and that's to me. It says no, no cheese on non. Keep that cheddar away from my non. I I think if you were able to open your mind a bit, you'd find that it might be delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm like nonophobic. I'm like non and cheeseophobic. Mm. I have, I have purse. <laughs> 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 I have what is it what is it called when you're um something something give me a little more I want to say inbred masculinity but it's like oh oh what's it called oh in uh oh my god internalized internalized misogyny that's what I meant to say. against non and cheese yeah but I'm trying to think of I have internalized like what's it called when you like mix two things the together the segregation of non and cheese <laughs> like <laughs> They shall they shall not like live in harmony for some reason in my head. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess there's no there's no like cheese bases in Indian food. You're right. What a shame. Honestly, though, like could be for the best. Can you imagine? Because I feel like Indian food is like up hard on the stomach to begin mm-hmm. with. Imagine yeah. the addition of a cheese element that could send us to the, the ICU. Storm. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it's 
Maybe it's for the best. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Well, let's move on. <laughs> Why not? Let's just move on. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I was in, I was in Chicago, the Nashville. Mm -hmm. It's it's crazy to do. And then the weekend before that, it was Ventura Santa Cruz. So eight shows in seven days, which is feels good to do. Are you yeah. almost done? I got. I leave tomorrow morning for DC. Four shows in DC. Two shows in. It Boston. It makes sense that you had to come back from Nashville to go to DC. I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. This it. The, like, why wouldn't you do Nashville to LA to DC? Hey guys, it's time for our Good Neighbor Custom segment, which is brought to you by State Farm. When you get a new car or a new home, the first thing you might want to find yourself saying is, heck yeah, or I can't believe it, or how is this real? But what you really want to say is the one thing that can get you the help you need. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm is there with the coverage you need for your car, your home, and even boats, motorcycles, RVs, and other things that matter to you. So today for our State Farm Good Neighbor Custom segment, I'm going to be talking about something that I'm struggling with. Well, I, wa I was struggling with. <laughs> Last week, I was struggling with this. Um, and the person that helped me get through it, like a good neighbor. And she is a good neighbor. Our friend Channing. Channing stepped in when I didn't realize that I did not have someone to watch Max for four additional days while I was in Nashville, Tennessee. And so Channing said, I'll do it. I'll stay at your house. I will watch your dog. I'll let you know when like this giant pole that holds up this heavy, heavy vine and all my string lights on my patio gets knocked over by all the rain that we've been having. The rain I'm also struggling with, but I haven't found a way to get past that. And even though the struggle was real this week, I'm nominating Channing as the good neighbor of the week that helped me get through it. So thank you, Channing. So obviously we all know that adulthood always comes with these types of low-key struggles. What to cook for dinner, how to exercise more, ways to eat healthier, the list goes on and on. I won't bore you. But luckily one of the parts of adulthood that doesn't have to be complicated is insurance, thanks to State Farm. With a State Farm agent, you know someone is there to help you choose the coverage you need. With so many coverage options, it feels good knowing you can find what works best for you, for you and your needs. And when you need ways to get help, State Farm gives you options there too. Whether it's in person, on the phone with your local agent, or on statefarm.com, or on their award-winning app, State Farm lets you do things your way. State Farm is the good neighbor we all want and deserve. So when you need help protecting the things that matter most, remember to say, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I Again, can't think of a better route. I want to emphasize the fact that I don't know where anything is. So yesterday was like, all right, time to head home from Nashville. Oh, I could throw a, I could throw a rock to DC. Yeah. And you did that yourself. Like you booked a trip back here. Yeah. Because you weren't kind of putting the well, pieces I, together that you could adjust. Brooke, I've never seen a map. Yeah. I yeah, need, Connor. I need someone to step in. Have you been like enjoying your time on planes? No. Or you're ready to kind of parachute up, up and away. No. Every time I get on a plane, I'm like, literally the flight attendant walks by and I'm like, I can see her obituary. Like she walks by and is like, oh, she's, she was always so nice. And like, she bravely led us as we plummeted. You know, like, like that's literally what yeah. goes on in my head as they walk by. They're like headphones, headphones. I'm like, oh, she was so sweet when she was giving out headphones. I will say, because I went on, I, th I don't know if I said this or not. But when I flew with Kat the other day, like we weren't going on a trip together. We just decided to like take a flight together to go to our respective homes in West Palm Beach and then come back together. Um, having someone you know on the plane is so nice because it's like, okay, like Kat's a good person. Like it's not her time. Yeah. You know, and it's nice because it's like, okay, if it's not her time right now, like by proxy, it's not going to be my time right now. Right. I know, but you can convince yourself. And then, but it could also be just like, guess what? Chalk it up. Freak accident. There's not like a freak accident to really put a wrench in your plans. Has any, you know what? I don't want to talk no, about don't, crashes don't, right now. No, don't, don't, I don't want to Don't, yeah. don't, because guess what happened to me? We haven't had a podcast since this happened to me, but like I had a, I had one of the planes. Oh, yeah. Where they were like, it's broken. And I was like, and then they deplaned us. Yeah. And so, did you get back on that plane? Fuck no. By the time, because I had a show that night. Basically, the pilot gets on and is like, so we'd been sitting on the tarmac for two hours. Guess what they were doing for the two hours? Trying to fix it. And they told us, hey, we're going to try We're gonna try to fix it. Just hang tight and go, uh, no, you know what? We're not, we're not going to try to fix it. There's no professional in a space that's like, hey, 
hey man, and we're about to dive into your heart surgery. Uh, we're gonna try to fix my extremely important part of the heart surgery machine. Yeah. Before we dive in, just hang tight. No, let's go ahead and switch machines. Let's. I'm gonna get on a different plane that's probably also broken mm -hmm. and take off. But Delta, I got a bone to pick with you. Was it one of the the what's the, the Bowen? I keep want like wanting to call them the Bowen Yangs. The but it was. <laughs> Yeah, it was a bow and yang. Okay, you were on the bow and yang. I was on a bow and yang yeah. 737. That'll do it. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. What's the other one that I was on? An Airbus. Airbus. I'd yeah. rather be on an Airbus. We would all rather than be on a BY. On, yeah, on an Adrian Brody than a bow and yang. Mm -hmm. Always. Um, but yeah, that so that was horrible. But no, I've not been enjoying my time on planes. It's become... And I have. So that's a complete reverse cycle. Damn. Yeah. Well, you got to get into reading because it's like the truly the perfect way to pass the time on a plane. I have to fall asleep. Okay, but, but if you can't? Oh, no, I fall asleep. Okay, then you're fine. But now I've convinced myself like, what if I have a freak accident? Then you'll sleep through it. No, no, no. Like, what if I just stop breathing, but I'm like completely passed out and everyone's like, wow, he's really relaxed. That has been like really scaring me on planes. Like if something, because you know I have health anxiety in general. Me too. And the thought of like a medical emergency happening to you on a plane, because I'd be too shy to let the flight attendant Break, know. Brooke, I'll just die. Humiliating. Hum I would never let them know that like oh like my like I'm I'm having pain in my chest. Like I'll just have a heart. I'd rather have a heart attack. Brooke, or like you know. Imagine how cringy it would be to like faint. And oh be, like, my god. And everyone's like, oh my god, we gotta help. Ooh, <laughs> we gotta help him. Yeah, even if there was a. Just doctor in a white coat next to me and i was feeling like literally on the verge of death i'd sit in silence uh -uh. Cause I, you know what it is huh like i'll have a sparkling water and get chest pain yeah like what am i gonna flag chest pain no, every any time I have sort it? of like normal inconvenient feeling that i've had on a plane is exacerbated by the fact that i'm on a plane right because it's like has this ever happened to somebody and is the altitude making it worse yeah okay i love how some people like on their I'm going to find out that everything I, I eat is like going to kill me and like. But it's like something new is going to kill you every day. And then the thing that was going to kill you before is actually like really good for you. It's actually a superfood. So it's just like you can't keep up and it's not your responsibility to. So just eat whatever you want. Like. Does that make sense? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> like I, I I just saw someone's Instagram story and they had like a black coffee and an apple for breakfast. And I'm like, I'm having a perfect bar and like a, like which is. You know, like a candy and then like a soda, basically. Well, there was a period of time that people were like, fruit is bad for you. It's all carbs and sugar. Yeah. No. No. That's, na that's nature's candy in, in a good way, positive mm -hmm. connotation. Like, that's good for you. It's healing for the soul and the body. I remember seeing this one model that posted. She's like, yeah, um, here's my diet. I don't eat fruit after noon. Mm. What happens after noon? The fruit. The fruit police arrive at your door banging on it to take all your strawberries away. You remember that Fruit of the Loom commercial? No. Which? At me, me neither, maybe. Okay. I think there was a Fruit of the Loom commercial with like walking fruit that kind of popped off. Apple Jacks? No, I know him, not him. Cinnamon is the winning one. Oh, I couldn't have, it, I, don't, I don't think it was from 1987. <laughs> Maybe I made it up. Nope. You know what I'm thinking of? Eat good foods. They go good to get. What was that? I've never heard that. Can you look up eat good foods? They go good together. But I'm the best of all. No way. <laughs> eat me. Do you don't know what I'm talking about? No. Eat good foods. They go good together. Old Nickelodeon. Yep. Blast it out. Oh, my God, Connor. This is, this is about to take me back. Can anybody send me a link to a video of this? Found the lyrics. Okay. okay. So they're looking Does for a link. Does anyone have to access to it? This is 12 years 12 ago. Years ago Brooke, if, if Reddit can't find it, we're toast. It. Really? Eat. Yeah. What's that? What's that called? Hashtag eat together commercial? No. Damn. It wouldn't be a hashtag. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? And can anyone find me a link? Eat me, I'm full of protein. <laughs> it sounds great. It was about all the food groups coming together to make a balanced meal. And it was like an awesome story and an awesome song. That I'm sure like, we could really learn a lot from those fruits today. 
Hell if I know. People. Damn, that sucks. I wish I could have showed you that. I I'm bummed. To share that. Me I'm too. I'm sure someone someone will find it. I hope that people that know what I'm talking about. Maybe we could find it for the bonus. 2000s commercials you should definitely remember. This feels good. This feels like the sweet spot. What's that? Oh, the Betty Crocker okay. bacon fill. Yeah. This, oh my God. This? <gasps> people died. Eating the B Betty Crocker bacon fill? No, I'm just mean like they were like. Oh my God. Shocked. They haven't done it like this since. Fillings. Imagine the look on your child's face when you cut into the cake and there's his face. I can't even imagine. Oh my God. That's yep. awesome. Literally, there's, it, there's no limit to the things you could put inside the bacon fill. Fresh fruit. Not afternoon. God forbid. Betty Crocker comes in with a fruit release. Oh my God, release. the ultimate love song. I guess we can't do that due to copyright. Um, oh my God, oh, the, the fondue pot. Yeah, the ultimate chocolate factory. It's so boring. It's left your fancy way to turn ordinary. Into oh, we can't. Yep. We, bro, yep. we, should, we, should touch we should touch base with this, with this website in the bonus so we can listen to Just all this Just really stuff. quickly, can we see if there's Eat Good Foods They Go Great together on here? Hey guys, we're going to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Brooke, how's, how's your social battery right now? Honestly, Connor, it's pretty good. I was able to do a lot of bed rest this weekend to kind of get me reset and recharge. And now I'm feeling like I have a charged battery. Oh, that's so awesome. that's always nice. It can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings picking up after the winter. What's the right amount of socializing for you and how do you recharge? Maybe you thrive around people or maybe you need some more alone time. Therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. I love therapy because it's a safe space to talk to someone and share my thoughts without feeling judged. They've helped me find the root causes of my day-to-day -day worries and come up with solutions to work through them. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash B and C today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash B and C. Rainbow art, oh, damn. I want to talk about all of these. Oh God. No. Flum. Loam. Oh God, the magic twist. No, I, I honestly can't even look. Zoo books, oh my God. The bump it. Oh, okay. Damn. Damn. Okay. That is. So oh, that's good. really good. Okay. What were we talking about? Doesn't matter. Fruit. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing something really important. Fruit. Um, but you went to the. I need to hear about this. About what? The Jimmy Buffett. Connor. The Jimmy Buffett concert changed I, my life. I haven't been more jealous of something that's happened. That's so up my alley. I love Jimmy Buffett. And here's the thing. If I were a Jimmy Buffett fan listening to me speak right now, I would be really annoyed. So I'm I'm sorry about that, Evan. I'm sorry about that. Just due to the fact that I didn't think I even knew any Jimmy Buffett song. Oh. I knew I knew Cheeseburger in Paradise and Margaritaville. Mm -hmm. um, but I was really just like trying to push myself to do activities outside of the house that are not just like going out to a bar and drinking. Because mm -hmm. as we've discussed, I don't, it turns out I don't enjoy that. Me either. So yeah, of course. Um, so I'm just trying to do like more wholesome, yeah. fun activities. Never know who you'll meet. You never know what kind of experience you'll have. Right. So went with Frankie Sr., the human, to the Jimmy Buffett concert, tribute concert, as he is was not there. No, I can't. But he was in spirit. He really was there, actually. I know. I want to take back what I said about him not being there. He was there. I keep forgetting. His spirit lives on so fiercely. Connor, I'm going to take you through what happened at this tribute concert hour by hour. Okay. This article that really details it better than I could. Of all the people that came out? Of all the people that came out. I had no idea what I, what I was right. getting into. Right, right, right. At 7.26 p.m., this is when I'm kind of getting into the venue. It was at the Hollywood Bowl, which is mm -hmm. like a beautiful outdoor venue. Actually, let me backtrack to when I was walking up to the venue I had gotten an Amex earlier in the day, yeah. which I was really excited about because I had been my whole life using a credit card that I had since high school that doesn't really get you any points. It's just kind of that like Wells Fargo, like yeah, like amateur yeah, credit yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. So I decided to step it up at the age of 20 redacted and get myself some real, some real credit. Yeah. Okay. 
I was like so excited talking all day about the perks that I'm going to get um, my the lounge access in airports. Like couldn't stop talking about my wow. Lounge couldn't, access. Could not stop talking about the Amex. I'm walking up to the concert. There's a man screaming. Does anyone have an Amex? Does anyone have an Amex? I have uh, an Amex. Yeah, I have an Amex. I got it this morning. You it, like couldn't have been picture perfect. Imagine you're talking about your Amex all day. Someone from from heaven itself says, "Does anyone have an Amex?" God works. Guess what I got? God is good. Guess what I got with my Amex what? perks? A seat cushion for my comfort. Ugh. Not for one dollar. For zero dollars. Look, Amex has got your ass covered. Literally got my ass covered. I did not have to pay the one dollar fee that those without the Amex had. Wow. Pay. I got that seat cushion for zero dollars and zero cents. Oh. Yeah. Pop off. Pop Get off. Get an Amex if you can. <laughs> really couldn't recommend it enough. Look. I'm having trouble just really quickly on the Amex side. Yeah. How do you access the points? We're not there yet. Okay. We're not there yet, I mean, Matt. I don't, We're at the early stages. Okay. I think it would probably have to do with going on to the app or the website and clicking on the redeem oh. points. I guess her. I can't see the points on the physical card. Like I think that like I don't know. I don't know. No, I know, I know, I know. But like in my head, I'm like Did you think it was gonna like Harry Potter like map like light up? No, but I just like feel like when i go to an 18 oh i guess i wouldn't use it any, eh, I'm not are you gonna, thinking like when you go like buy something they're gonna be like you have points like you can use the, <laughs> you can use your credit here yeah because i'm like, buying so many flights right because delta's planes keep like breaking are you buying them through oh i should log into you the have app. to buy it through your amex travel okay. feature yeah gotcha because i'm buying so many flights but are you buying them through amex yeah you're going to the amex travel section of the Amex website. No. Then well, with flights, you don't have to. You don't have to. Oh, I thought with flights, you have to book it through the travel part of. I believe you can book it through anything. Flights themselves, you have to book it through the travel. Yep. Oh. See? I think on mine, it said that I had to book the flights via the flight piece of the website yeah. or app. Yeah. We can, we can offline. Okay, now that I have my seat cushion, mm -hmm. seven twenty-six Time to really PM, get things into when I'm walking to my seat, Woody Harrelson, yeah, is on stage shooting the shit about how him and Jimmy smoked a blunt on top of the Vatican, which I don't think I think that didn't happen, but in this moment it did. Yeah, and that was a beautiful thing. Yeah, I would, I would think that that's something you probably take to the grave. Yeah, I don't think it did actually happen. Like I think he was just like saying like that's the kind of like energy. Me and that Jimmy Buffett true. smoking a joint on top of the Vatican. He said, he joked, he came up in a beat up cowboy hat recalling the time he and Buffett smoked a joint on the roof of the Vatican. Oh. That's well, not true, of course, he adds. But wouldn't that be a great story? <laughs> yep. 100%. He knows how to hook you in. Then Connor, Chenny, Chenny Kessney. Jenny Ke <laughs> Kessney. Chenny Kessney came out. I love her. <laughs> Kenny Chesney came out. Wouldn't you love him? I'm obsessed with Kenny Chesney. Yep. Then Dolly Parton came out, but via video feature. Right. Yeah, but it was personalized. Then didn't know who that was. Then Zach Brown came out. Zach Brown and including, and including the band. His band. Zach, Zach Brown and band wow. came out and debuted a new, really beautiful song called Pirates and Parrots. And that should be coming out soon. And I encourage everyone to listen that's, to Pirates and Parrots. That's got to be a Jimmy Buffett. It was an incredible tribute, tribute yeah. to Jimmy. I went and saw Zach Brown band at that at Hollywood Bowl with TK. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Good show. Then. Jolly good show. Harrison Ford. Right. Comes out, <clears> of course. And then I think. Wow, if if it's celebrities like Harrison Ford that are coming out, I think okay, who else is old? That's what I'm thinking in my head because he's 81. Mm -hmm. and Joe I'm, Biden and I, I, I had two guesses for who was going to come out. Yeah, Joe Biden. Yeah, and Jane Fonda. And and Jane Fonda came out, but I didn't say it out loud. So all I had to say when she comes out was, "I, I swear, it. I knew that was going to happen." But that holds no weight. No, because like, how can you how can you really convince someone we that have you to... knew? Like I. I genuinely knew that was going to happen. We'd have to, but no one cared when I was like, "I swear, I knew that was going to happen." We'd have to know your heart. 
And it's like, they do know my heart, but like, I can't stress enough how I knew. Cause it was, I was, my synapses were fine. Like, okay, who else is old? Jane Fonda. And she came out. How cool that like, no one knew who was coming. And no, then just it was being like, so, I was on the edge of my seat. Like, who's going to come out? Who's going to come out? That's, this is more star started than like an award show. It really was like remarkable. I saw Miles Teller was there with his wife. I thought I predicted that he was going to come out on stage because I also did Google who were Jimmy Buffett's friends. And he was in the, Miles he was on the list. He was on the list. But he did not come out on the stage. Okay, then the Eagles. Turns out I know like all of their songs. You do. Who knew? Who knew? My dad's favorite band. Then Jane Fonda. Cool. Came out to introduce Brandi Carlisle. Cool. Who? Obsessed with. I yeah. didn't know I was obsessed with her either. Oh, she's so good. Incredible. Then, Connor. Yeah. Jackson Brown. Didn't know who he was, but he sung Come Monday, which as we've discussed, favorite song of all time. Good song. Yeah. One of the greatest songwriters of our time. Jackson? Jackson. Oh, yeah. special. Yep. And then um, Carlisle's vocals were characteristically smooth and her love for Buffett evident. Because mm-hmm. she actually sung Come Monday, I think. Beautiful. No, she had actually, instead it was Carlisle who led the Coral Reefer band on acoustic guitar. Hope that makes sense. Then Will Arnett. That's when I was really like, what? I, I'm losing the pattern here. But who knew they were close friends too? I have so many awesome memories of Jimmy. I was staying with him in the Caribbean. He said, I got to get certified takeoffs and landings at the St. Bart's airport. You want to go? I got to do like 30 of them. That's so them. This is a level, <laughs> that's a level of celebrity status that's so perfect to me because it's like, I forget about Will Arnett all the time. Oh, I never for one day have woken up and said, oh, I forget about Will Arnett. I forget about Jimmy Buffett. Like, they're not, what I'm saying is they don't make new headline news. They're not like coming out with these groundbreaking new movies. And you stuff. carry them with you. Yes. Like, no, I'll, I'll never forget Will Arnett. I just, I fail to remember him on a daily. But like Jimmy Buffett, same way, I'm like, King, legend, icon, but like, I'm not like seeing him, you know, I was never seeing him in articles and stuff. That's like such a good. Well, I hope from this day on, he's at the forefront of your mind. Jimmy Buffett is always Come special Monday, to he me will be. because it reminds me of the age when like my parents were like going to parties and stuff like when I was growing up and then there'd be like the kids that were kind of like swimming around in the pool and like all the parents are doing their thing. And I always, all these songs remind me of that time in my life. Hey guys, we're taking a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, ZocDoc. Are you the one friend in the group that loves to treat yourself? It's okay. Honestly, we all do it. You know, like getting a pedicure and opting for the extra 10 minute foot massage with the green tea infusion. I had a milkshake last night after my yellow curry, which is why I was 20 minutes late. (laughs) Well, if you treat yourself to the top options with everything in life, why settle when finding a doctor? It's your health after all. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book tens of thousands of top-tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. So don't settle. Go for the best and find the right doctor for you. With ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doc you want, you can book with them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. And these docs all have verified reviews on actual real patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed, credible doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance and are located near you and treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. Go to ZocDoc.com slash BNC to download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash B-N-C. ZocDoc dot com slash B-N-C. They remind me of the porch. The f- yeah. The yeah. Por- like you and the other kids kind yep. of like mingling. Parents mingling separately. Parents are doing their own yeah. complete thing and they literally just like bring you there and you do your own thing. Yeah. But Jimmy, I have something to say about whenever you're done, I'll say this. No, say Jimmy. Jimmy Buffett to me, if you listen to the songs, this is why... The, the energy and the vibe that he carried with himself was so important. Not a good singer. Oh, I, he has like a good, solid voice. At its core. It's his vibe. It's the vibe. That's what I'm saying. And the lyrics are like, 
they make you feel good, but it's you. Ju- it just takes you to the island. It takes you to the islands, and that was his. He had. He led the trip island there. living. It takes you to island living. No, literally sponge cake in paradise. Yeah. Soaking, also, soaking up the rays. The crowd was really a, a. I haven't been part of that type of crowd ever. Just like older. Yeah. People, I have never seen people of my parents' age blackout. Yeah. In my life, Connor, people, older people being taken out by security. Yeah. Left and right. When I was walking back to the car, there was a man who was probably about seven feet tall and wide, Mm -hmm. too, from every, all the dimensions. We're doing seven feet all around. Mm -hmm. We were walking through a tunnel. He had to support himself on the tunnel by leaning against it and walking the whole time. And then um, by the time we got out of the tunnel, he was able to completely fall head first into um, the foliage into the bush. I think he stayed there all night. Bless his heart. Yeah. You know what? Do you know what Jamie would say? It's five o'clock somewhere. It, li- it literally was five o'clock in his heart yeah. and mind all night. Yeah. It was really cool. And then there were these like three, like probably my mom's age, these three women in front of me who were clearly like best friends for life. And one of them like blacked out way too close to the sun. And the other two were like really like getting so annoyed with her. And it was just like sweet to watch that type of dynamic. Like, like they're like pushing her off like on the other and like they couldn't stand her at all, but they loved her at the same yeah. time. And it was really sweet to see that. Sisters. Like sisters. Yeah. yeah at that. Yeah. It was at that stage of life. It was really nice. Then Connor. Snoop Dogg, obviously, yeah. okay? Well, Snoop Dogg- To honor his main man, Jimmy. Snoop Dogg is to like hip hop that Jimmy Buffett is to like yacht rock to me. Like Snoop Dogg is an older gentleman. He has a lot of hits. He's it's everyone the vibe. Snoop Dogg. It's the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they yeah, different font. Mm-hmm. Then John McEnroe. Yes. Which I was like- so, I, I still can't quite get the pattern of his people. his wild ass is popping up randomly. John McEnroe, that motherfucker knows everybody. He's Unfortunately, in- I only knew him from the Netflix show Never Have I Ever. Oh, yeah. John McEnroe is like a an icon, an icon of the seas he's, he's, and the court. Yeah, he's in the sports space. Yeah, Pitbull. Yep, he's awesome. That's another one. That's kind of like he's like you could feel his energy. I was in like the very back of the Hollywood Bowl, probably a mile <laughs> away from Pitbull. You could feel his energy all the way back there. I saw Pitbull. great energy. I saw him one time at a Super Bowl after party in Houston, and it was I was alone, and it was the most fun I've ever had at a concert. Awesome. He brought up Little Wayne. Here he brought out Bon Jovi, and they performed <laughs> a duet thing. together of "Thank God" and Jimmy Buffett, which is wow. a Pitbull original piece. Yeah. Then Connor. Bon Jovi performed, but of course Judd Apatow and Leslie Mann came out. And at this point, it's like it's like late in the evening, and they had all been clearly doing, not only drinking backstage, but also clearly doing partaking in some other things too. They were slurring, Judd and like, Leslie, and did reading they smoke off weed? of the, yeah, but also probably more. I don't know that I I didn't know what they heroin? were on, but no, not heroin, but like maybe just like a lot of weed and alcohol, but. They were like real. They were reading off a teleprompter, but also like couldn't at the same Good. time. Good, that is yeah. so funny. And it they was can like do no wrong. It was me. perfect. Cheryl Crow. Yeah, that was awesome. Jack Johnson, you would have died for. He is also another person whose energy I could feel in the back of the room. Yep, he'll be. He's a Jimmy Buffett, and he's an island man. I didn't know. I've he, seen him five times he's from Hawaii. Long. Yeah, I didn't know that. He's awesome. I also didn't realize that's what he looked like. Like, I had a completely different idea of what he looked Handsome like. Handsome bald man. Yeah. Dave Grohl. Cool. That was crazy. Um, Dave Matthews via video. Wow, Brooke. If, if Dave Matthews would have been there. But he performed via video, too. Huh. If Dave Matthews would have been there and he, he would have performed, those tickets that you had received, like, you would have had to get framed and put in a shadow box and hung in your home. Because those tickets, with all these people uh-huh. being there, like, it, I mean, already, it's... It really was once in a lifetime. Insane. I'm not even halfway done. I didn't even know this was happening. Then the Eagles. Yeah. That was crazy. Turns out I really, I already said this, but like I had no idea. I was so familiar with their yeah. catalog. 
Um, oh my God, then that song, Take It to the mm -hmm. Limit. Then I was like swaying back and forth. That's a great song. Then I didn't know this person. Then Paul McCartney Special. came out. This was really like the highlight of the night. Sang Let It Be, which he had sung to Jimmy when he was sick in his sick bed. It was literally his normal bed, but he was just sick in it. I don't know if it was his normal bed or not. He, had he a, was sick he, in it. Jimmy had a special sick room. It was like sick bed during it. his final days. The bed was a, a NASCAR car. And he brought out bed. the Eagles were like in the back. Yeah. Wall, Paul M. We have the same birthday, by the way. He was on piano singing. I mean, it was literally once in a life. That's so special. Then everybody that was there came out and sung Margaritaville. I saw that. And Paul McCartney was drinking a margarita on the stage. I don't think he should do that. Why? Well, you're going to be drinking when you're that age. Don't I don't think, think I'll be that age, but yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he, yeah I, he is like skin and No, bones. he seemed actually, even though I was in the way Sound, back, mind, and body. I, he felt sturdy. Good. When I saw him at, I think Coachella, is, it, is that where he played? ACL. <clears throat> he stood up to sing Live and Let Die. Mm -hmm. And boy, oh boy, I was like, no, you should sit down to sing this song. Well, he was sitting on the piano too, which yeah. I think helped. That's good. It's important to sit. Yeah. Big advocate for sitting. Well, how fun. I'm jealous. How fun. Thanks for listening. Of course. No, I, I, I saw the TikToks and stuff. It's it fascinating. I had, for the first time in my life, I think because I was just like also doing something and I was having fun, but zero Coachella FOMO. Oh, zero. Not even interested. I couldn't thank. I'm thanking my lucky stars. Today is Monday and I didn't spend Sunday night at Coachella. Right. Whoa. Yeah, I didn't have FOMO, which makes sense. Yeah. But it, it didn't. Well, you had a good, you had, you had a one good time at Coachella and you're able to say. Right. I don't think that I was need to fine. go back. Yeah. I didn't have a, a one good time at Coachella. Yeah. Nothing even happened. I was just like tired and full of dust uh -huh. the whole time. Is that the only time you went when you were tired and full of dust? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> no interest. I'm no interest. telling you, you have to go weekend too. Well, I want to go. I like stagecoach. Oh. Is that, when is that? The week. It's in two weeks. Are you going to go? Can't. Show's in Denver. Oh, perfect. I'll be in Denver though. That'll be fun. Yeah. I love Denver. Yeah, you do. You know what else I did this weekend, though? What? Jimmy Buffett was Thursday. Did yeah. bed rest on Friday. Spent Saturday with Max. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I didn't realize, because I went to your house, like, preparing to just, like, chill. So I was doing pajamas, no bra, like, mm -hmm. disgusting. Then we took Max for a walk, and I was like, okay, look, it'll be fine. We won't see anyone. I didn't realize that every person with a pulse is wanting to talk to Max. Yeah. How do you cope? No, Brooke, I told you that. I'm never getting a dog, or if I do, it's not leaving the house. Do oh. not, like, I, that's my worst nightmare. I No, I told you guys, you have to fake a phone call the whole time you're walking a dog. And he's so friendly that he's, like, got, approaching others as well. Yeah. I was like, Max, we're not doing one-on-ones right now. No. I, it's, yeah, it's it's the hardest time, like, in the morning before you have, like, coffee or whatever, or in the evening when you're like, all right, we're gonna do one more walk. But I need to go inside and go to sleep. Yeah. But people stop him. Because he's, li he is handsome. Well, I like. His eyeliner is crazy. I know. he's He's got a gorgeous beat. He Like, whoa. Yeah. He's doing full smoky eyes. Yeah, he is. But yeah, people stop Golden him. Golden eyes. I know. And, you know, the essence of him, too. He's got an energy about him. Very Buffett-esque. Yeah. I mean, I'm, it is like really remarkable. I know you talk about it all the time. The way that he diary is on the trees. He just wasn't diarying with you guys, right? Oh, Connor. Oh, then that means he ate something that, well, I was gone. I he had some solid poops too, but he was also having horrible diarrhea too. He shouldn't if he's a, if he's just eating his farmer's dog. Mm. Now, oh, oh. what? Uh, he might have gotten it in the trash. I don't know. Okay, that would explain it. Literally, if he has anything else that isn't farmer's dog, yeah, Shart City, USA. Yeah, he was charting like up the tree. Yeah, it's, it's wild. It's a powerful, and it's literally like. It's always hard when people 
like watch your dog have diarrhea and it's like what do you want me to do like i can't pick it up with a bag like the tree is even better because it's like i literally can't do anything about it he spray paints it yeah. he's he's spray painting that tree unless you're carrying around a power washer which like no one would expect you to do no unless what like you, if, if, you if you a do? dog was sharding on the street i'd be like oh, but he's sharding he, he's doing yeah. it for you like he knows what's easiest for you for his papa yeah it's it's are you doing papa yet or still no no i'm not i'm not doing papa <laughs> this episode of brooke and connor make a podcast is brought to you by booking.com booking dot yeah from relaxing beach resorts to remote mountain cabins with so many choices across the u.s you can book whoever you want to be booking.com knows that people and travelers are multifaceted so they offer a wide breadth of places and accommodations so that you can lean into a different side of yourself depending on where you go Book a remote cabin in the woods to explore your adventurous side or book a five-star hotel to indulge your luxury side. There are so many possibilities. I have a couple trips planned these next few months. Um, and I'm like kind of after after leaning into somebody for to plan stuff, I'm going to do that all the time, especially when I go somewhere new. I'm going to lean into the, like the ca- casual traveler. Good just goes you. with the flow. Very good for you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. This spring, check out Booking.com for your ideal hotel or vacation home, no matter where you go in the U.S. Book whoever you want to be on Booking.com, Booking.yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, crap, 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 crap. Let me think. Oh, I was oh. going to tell you also. Yes, wait. You got- oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, this is probably why he had diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Look at him take like yeah. He literally is the is is like the funniest dog too. Like that, and like nope. I'm gonna take that. That is that's her. Nope, oh, uh, mine. That's like yeah. that's like me. And I won't lie to you. He got into my hummus. Then yeah, come on. <laughs> but that was after his, he diarrhea on the trees. No, he like the way he he genuinely should play for the NFL. Look at him juke that right through <laughs> Tristan's hand. Yeah, like Tristan couldn't get his hand on it. No. He is good. He's smooth, and he like he acts as if he's not gonna do it. Like he, it's a fake out. No, like oh Tristan, I'm coming to kiss you. Actually, let me. See. Yeah, no, he knows what he's doing. He's really interesting. That's like yeah. that's like me. They cut me off at the bar, and I'm like, glasses hanging. Glasses. Oh, hello, I'm Mrs. Iglesias. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mrs. Iglesias. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, I had some. I had some stuff we can do really quick. Sunday, oh, yeah. I saw um, Shrek 2 in theaters because yeah. it's the 20th anniversary of Shrek 2, which I was talking about this on Obsessed. Horrible that you can, me and you can both say 20 years ago, I answered to Stop. horrible and like live to tell the tale. Like that's really scary. Connor, I feel so horrible Why? for my children oh. and the current generation that they will never be able to have a film like Shrek 2. Like the jokes in there are like advanced and pg-10 like they're doing farting and burping and like making some jokes that only parents would understand and they will not do that nowadays and the children will suffer because of it well, they well, will not have a movie that they can see in 20 years and finally understand jokes that they didn't get when they were younger and that's an amazing experience that i'm able to have that they will not be able to we will, and that sucks because we've become too soft we will yeah brooke i agree we will always have Shrek. We will always have Shrek. What sucks, I think, to your point, what sucks is like when I watch that now, it's like almost hard to view because the graphics are so weird. Not me talking about graphics, but whoa, it's like it's not even like 2D. It's like almost claymation vibes the way that like Shrek is. You know what I mean? Sometimes like older shows that were like groundbreaking in terms of CGI, you're like. I was feeling like Shrek 2 was like good. It was in terms fine. Of the, yeah, animation and stuff. But it just sucks. It's like they're not even going to make like Elsa and Anna fart once. Like they'll never, <laughs> they'll never do that. And that sucks. That does suck. Like imagine how much better Frozen would be if they had at least let one rip. It's also, like show us the girls fart too. Sh- I was going to say now we live in a world where it's like, ooh, I'm a girl. Like I have to pretend not to fart. And that's because the kids now do not have Shrek 2. It's setting really unrealistic standards it, it too because really is. if a man watches Elsa and Anna and he's like, Oh, oh girls don't my, fart. My princess my princess will never fart or poop. It's dangerous. It is the dangerous. movies now are dangerous. Fiona was like She was shitting and farting and burping left and right as yep. she should. Queen of 
feminism. Yeah, damn. And it was like true romance. Now it's like I am all for like. Look at his meaty, women. meaty hands. I know. Like Big, women power, claws. like sisterly love. But like some of us do want to be saved by the prince. Some of us want that. Give us some of that at least. Let's do some female power. And then let's do some save me in a tower. I've been locked up. I need someone to save me. Some of us want that. Um, Cameron Diaz is still making like millions of dollars from Shrek. I bet. Franchise. Isn't that so crazy? With Mike M probably. Mike Myers. Didn't you cancel him? Wait, I was going to ask you that. Didn't he get canceled? I think you canceled him. I didn't cancel him. No, Mike but Myers. you were able to let us know of the cancellation policy. What was... He's. You were just saying he's like a horrible person, I think. Oh, I think someone else said that. And you told us. I would never speak ill of the alive. Yeah, I think you were just canceled like... Canceled, enough is enough. Is Michael Myers officially over? People also ask. It was less than a year ago that Hollywood ends, hit theaters, and the title promised that iteration of what? Oh. Can we click on the Reddit? Michael Myers is canceled. I enjoyed him in Shrek and Awesome Powers. I had no idea he went around in a mask stabbing people to death. Oh, that's about Freddie Mercury. Is this what you were talking about? Mercury. Freddie Mercury? That's about Kruger? Freddie Krueger. Krueger? Krueger. Is this what you're talking? I think he's good. Oh. Okay, bless his heart then. Oh my. No, I think he it was like mean to people on set or something. Like didn't treat them well. Um, I have to say something about never mind. Why? I was on a plane. I just like him so like when people aren't super nice to you, like they don't you don't cancel them for that. Like I think he like was like treating people really horribly. Okay. <laughs> but I also do not know. I don't either. I'm I do not I'm, know the facts. I know. Well, it just goes back to like, it's such a fine line. It's like, how mean can you be to somebody, you know? But like, if you're just not super out, like if you're the, if you're the girl following people, the TikTokers into the fitting room right? and you're not hugging them no, and I kissing them on the feet. Than that. Yeah. I think he was like abusing his role. But again, I have no information. I have not looked into it for one second. We couldn't find anything. Like, <laughs> we Googled it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I remember that comment that was on our pod that was like, I wish these two would stop talking about things they know nothing about. No. That's the podcast. That's our whole thing that we do. We That's the tagline. Okay. Here's something that I have no information on, and it's something that I did. Let her rip. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sitting on the plane coming back. Well, I'm going to start from the beginning, okay? One, I was um, aisle seat. And so I'm watching a movie and there's kids all around. So I was like, I'm going to pick something very simple to watch. Like nothing. No, I don't want to skip a sex scene, especially if I fall asleep. Like I don't want to like have that like porn playing on my, on my personal TV. And then I'm asleep and it's just playing for everyone in the aisle. <laughs> uh -huh. And so I'm like, I'm going to watch something's got to give with Diane Keaton and. Oh, rookie mistake. Diane Keaton. K Diane Keaton's rack is out like, yep. right away. Yep. Diane Keaton's goes full frontal nudity in that movie. Mm -hmm. It's a good movie. Great movie. Yeah. I love Diane Keaton. That's a romantic comedy. That's a rom-com. Yeah. I love a rom-com with like one, like like Loki, like just like a average dude and like a hot woman. That's what like the- but Unfortunately, like, that's the, the best of them. That's the best of them. We're just like really being traditional viewers today. And I have always advocated for a- film that's like give us like an average girl yeah and a hot guy and then i forget i saw one recently and i had been advocating that for that forever and i was like ooh, <laughs> <laughs> ooh something about this like, is like, right it's like it's not working it's not for me same. yeah not um so i was like oh that's well so anyways i'm like sitting there watching this movie and there's two kids next to me mm -hmm. and then the dad is on the aisle and so he's sitting next to me but there's two kids here and the the one kid next to me has this, this ipad and it's in the front pocket and it's got like this really squishy looking case on it I'm like i you want to eat it no i couldn't help i literally w went and was like feeling on it and then i was like what am I doing? I caught myself. That's what I put in our notes. I touched the iPad, sad face. Because the dad was like looking at me. And I was like, why did I touch that kid's iPad? 
Like I actually in that moment was like, I didn't voluntarily go and like grab this kid's belongings. Uh -huh. Well, I'm sure if you had asked him, he would have loved. No, but I, I like came to and I was like fondling his iPad case. And the dad saw me mm -hmm. do it. I'm sure and I was like, Bleh. like, I don't know why I did that. I was like freaked out. It happens. I wouldn't stress too much. About okay. It. it just like bugs me that I did that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Two, the other thing. Of course, I'm on TikTok on the plane. One thing Delta does have is free Wi-Fi and it works really well. Yeah. Um, and I'm watching. Did you know that air traffic controllers, the ones that are in charge of trafficking and controlling the air, um, have like the highest suicide rate out of like any. Yeah. I feel like we, I did know that. Um, Why? I don't know. Let's get some mental health. Oh, advocates really? Because their really lives are on the line. Like all day and you just can't it's not you can be like oh i'm gonna be on like i'm gonna get on tiktok for like a second right you're, you're always on <laughs> no you can't you can't ever take a breather damn i know it's like i feel like i don't know i feel like that's like a really important job you really shouldn't kill yourself right we should really invest in well or like we should people should invest in the mental health of the air traffic. of air traffic controllers i agree yeah because that's like you know we don't want a freak accident like we said earlier that could be a a nonprofit we start that would be really good for the air yeah. controllers because we're all about mental health and Me mental health high space mental health for the air traffic controllers i'm an advocate for that yeah because i want to land and we care for their well-being too right that too yes um one of the gifts that was given to us mm -hmm. over the weekend from at one of my shows from fan poopery Guess the scent. Is it a scent that's already been like established or is it like a Brooke and Connor? It's been established. Is it a good smell? Mm -hmm. Is it like the sea? Mm -hmm. Is it like a, but is it that kind of, is it mm -hmm. like a vanilla base, a clean linen base? It's clean linens. Diva. Is it from that company? Yes. They started making a poopery. They did a poopery club. Dude, you're fucking with me. No, I'm not. Diva Wash Poopery. On the far right there. Tyler Diva Glamour Diva. I had no Tyler by Glamorous Diva. That's awesome. I'll have bathroom to order it. spray. It's poopery. I'll have to order it. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that's perfect to carry Maintains around. Maintains glamour when you go. Because you know when you're like on the go and let's say you're in a restaurant bathroom and you have no choice. Yeah. But to do what you have to do and like you have to resort to like spraying Lysol everywhere. Why don't I just carry this around? Why don't? And then like the seat, the seat is sticky for the next person because I've sprayed Lysol everywhere. I've like put a bunch of soap in my hands and like ruined, <laughs> like done this to get it off into the toilet and the flush so that bubbles come up. And it's like I washed the I washed the bowl. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Anyways, and then someone else came up to me. This is the funniest thing. I was having, this girl was like, I don't know who you are, but I've seen you. And because of you, I got this, my laundry detergent. So she knew me as like the deep The laundry wash. guy. You never know what you're going to be known for. Uh -uh. That's what, like when I used to be known as um, the Little Caesars girl. The Little Caesars uh, dupe. Dupe. You had your dupe that was because shipped Because they, you. for Little Caesar, I did an ad where they created, they said they were creating a life-size replica of me. And they did. It was... Um, Big Brooke, we called her because she was a bit taller than me. She was Massive. a doll that oh my was gosh, my you size. You should have kept her so we could use use her when you're gone. I had no. I literally, I'm. I had to put her away. You had to put her down. She was so scary. You know, Ew, I'm sorry. Up, like I can't look at myself, friend. but you can look. We can find Big Brooke. Where's Big Brooke when you need her? Like she was literally horrifying. She's huge. She's and like. I literally could only keep her like on the couch in my apartment because like where else do you put something like so life size? She's not going in my bed. Like she's a mammoth. I would walk out like if I had to pee in the middle of the night and I would see her, I would scream to the gods. She was really there was something sinister about. She it, it had to go in the dumpster. Yeah, I bet that would have been so scary. What's crazy? Like she like where is she now? Somewhere. Unless she's been shredded. Oh my god! No, she's she's on Trash Island in the Pacific. She's haunting someone. Like she is Chucky. And I, she, I always got that vibe from her, but yeah, miss her horribly. Um, she but just, anyway, she, I would be recognized for her, for her work. 
for some reason, Big Brother just reminded me of that Big Daddy, the Golden Bachelor, got divorced last week. Jerry and Teresa? Jerry and Done. Teresa. So, like, that is nuts at, like, that age to be calling it quits after three months. Like, for me, I'm just like, all right, I'll just ride it out <laughs> at this time. Especially because, like, we just declared our love for each other on TV and it was, like, a whole thing. Like, I could at least ride it out for a few years. Or is- I guess maybe they're like, why spend one day with someone I don't want to if I have so little time left? Well, it's it's also, to me, it's like... Something must have happened. You just dated. Like, you didn't have to get married right away, you know? Like, you were just dating for three months. Right, I guess I just don't specify get- when you have to get married. Don't get married. Huh. Anyways. I have I- to know what happened. I just think he chose the wrong broad. I think it's him. Do you really think it's Jerry? I think I I didn't want to say because I knew we were all so excited about it. There was something there that edged oh. on sinister, much like Big Brook. I didn't see that. Maybe you should maybe you should send him a Big Brook dupe so that he can have someone. Can you imagine a life size Jerry? It would be f- ten feet tall. Yeah. I really, yeah. Big Jerry. I think it's, I'd love to know the ins and outs of what happened, but it just like sucks that we won't ever. No, we could find out if we needed to. Mm. Let us know if you know. Let a bitch know. Let a bitch know. Um, I have one other thing to say. Okay. What is it? I would say the plights of being an influencer are few and far between. <laughs> But one the one that is true. What are you gonna say? Is when you have an ad that is boosted to the dark parts of the internet. The dark web. To the dark webs. I did an ad with truly that they boosted to uh, spaces of the internet that no no man should venture into. I just wanna say like I'm not looking for any like I'm not looking for compliments. I'm not fishing for compliments. Like these types of comments do not bother me whatsoever. Like I do think they're funny. So don't even like say like, oh Brooke, no, you're pretty. I do not give a shit. Like I don't even I don't I don't want to hear it. I know. But it will be like the like most the meanest comments. I'll like a a normal one will be like, is this a guy is this a dude? And I'll <laughs> I'll look at the perpetrator of the is this a dude? Full on mother with three kids. <laughs> like, imagine your mom getting a truly ad oh. and being like, "Oh my god!" Like, I have to, like, I have to know if this young woman is a dude. <laughs> like, oh, like a ima- mat, like w- you would expect that of like a troll incel living in a basement, but like, what, like what? <sighs> Ooh. Like that is insane that and like other like I'll like click on them, it's like normal like family man. We'll be like, what is this thing? <laughs> that is so funny. Like so like that is so embarrassing. You should be like those poor kids. Like I literally want to like blast them out and be like, This is your dad. Or this is your mom. Look what they're doing. That's so it's so embarrassing. No, I've I've had that happen. But it's mine are just like straight up, like die. You need to die. I'm like, I- I'll just let you know about Takis. Right. Just They're like pretty good. Just like a what would look like an <laughs> average mother of three to everyone else being a troll. Yeah. Like you don't expect that. But you guys like check in on your parents. Like they could like actively be trolling. I'm scared my dad leaves comments on stuff. Thinking that it's coming to me. Mm, like he thinks he's DMing them to you? Yeah. Because there's a time in the evening when he starts to send me reels. And he'll send me 25 in a row. And I'm like, there's no way that he's 100% accurate where he's sending these. Mm-hmm. There's no way. Because he'll, he'll send me a text with me and then like an, my like distant relative that i don't talk to and it's like one of his iphone videos that iphone makes for you of your pictures and it's like trip to italy and it's like me and him and like my mom and then it's like me and this distant relative and the distant relative will always be like oh love that and i'm like (laughs) (laughs) he definitely didn't mean to put them in this i get it but i get i get nervous like pretty because you and i have have sent things to different people on accident Mm -hmm. Or like, it happens to me all the time where someone responds 
to my story instead of like with like oh, oh that's horrible why would he post this and it's like yeah. my own story yeah and i'm like who yeah who? that is really bad yeah so like i wouldn't be it's not like a shock if like your parent maybe they were sending it to someone else brooke you can feel better knowing at least they were probably sending it to someone i'm else. saying like it literally I, what they're sending what to someone else is this a dude <laughs> oh, they well, probably well, meant well. to send it to their I'm kids i'm saying like those really don't bother me like it really it just is insane that it's coming from like probably one of your parents yeah yeah and then i got one like kind of like creepy one that was like <laughs> on i made one that was like self-deprecating about like being in a bathing suit and then i got one from this guy that, that was, was like i'm sure you look great like with or without a bathing suit like i'm sure you look beautiful clicked on it like wholesome grandfather, like all like pictures with his like beautiful new granddaughter and his daughter. And I was just like, oh my, like what, what is happening? Like we've, they, like we've moved past it just being like incels, which is scary. Well, a, a family man can also be an incel, lest we forget. I just like, also like your own mom could be an incel. You can't put incels in a you box. You can't put incels in a box, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You also can't put your mom in a box. You literally, there's not a thing you can put in a box. Nothing should be in a box. Except Schrodinger's cat. cat. That's the only thing that should be in a box. And even then we. Every time I do a Schrodinger's cat joke that I think is groundbreakingly hilarious, like does not land. I'm thinking like not enough people know who Schrodinger's cat is. I agree. I'm like, oh, this is so funny. Um... O.J. Simpson. Gone. Did you see Caitlyn Jenner tweeted good riddance? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was like for, you know, I don't know, for anyone to say good riddance. Like, OJ, like everyone was pretty much like. Sometimes Caitlyn comes out with like such good things and then completely says something that is so horrible. It's like, damn, just when I was starting yeah. to root for you, it's like the worst thing that could ever come out of anyone's mouth. Yeah. Well, I just think it's funny how closely tied Caitlyn is to the OJ whole situation. Well, even like, I need to watch, I really need to watch the um, Ryan Murphy American Crime, that the OJ trial one. Why? Because just due to it all. David Schwimmer. Yeah. He's Robert you? Kardashian. Like, I just need to get into that. Was David Schwimmer in that show? He's yeah, Robert he was Robert Kardashian. Kardashian. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah. Um, I thought I learned this weekend that the reason the glove didn't fit, so he must have quit, is because he stopped taking his like medicine, his medication, so his hands swelled up. Oh, I heard that it was because it was his son that did it, and he covered it up. Oh, no. or like did OJ it with him? No, I know OJ did, did it, it. but. <laughs> Like, it's like, you know, and I don't think there's a doubt in anyone's mind. Right. Even Robert Kardashian said he did it. I, I don't know that for a fact at all. That could have been. Did you see he had his, all unreal. his family sign NDAs before coming to visit him on, in the hospital? His, like, kids? No. About his health or about OJ? We, they signed NDAs. We'll never know. Oh. No. No, no, no. OJ over the weekend had his kids come. Oh, visit I thought you were talking about Robert before he, before he passed and had everyone that came into the room sign NDA. It's his family. Oh. So it's normal. Melania Trump. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's my favorite sound on TikTok. Oh, I do love that one. Um and then I'll leave you with this because we if we had a delay. Is this I is this the real time or the fake time? The real time. This oh, is okay. So wait, this is I have one more thing then. Yeah, please. Because I was watching this thing on the way here today about tipping. Like everyone's saying if it's a self-serve thing, like if you're at a coffee shop, if you, if you don't have a, if you were up there ordering and then you go sit down, I guess for like food too, mm -hmm. people don't tip. Would you tip at like a thing when it turns around the screen, the iPad? If you don't have like a, because you tip different people. Like you could also be, I always think like, oh, I'm tipping the person that made my food. I don't, but I don't know where like when I sign the iPad. I just I'm, get I'm, so embarrassed that I'll always just click 20%. I just. But like, you, there are times like in the days pre iPad, no one would have tipped. Cause that would require putting cash into a drawer. Or you could sign plus whatever on your check at the front at the register. But it's. 
I it'd be like at and, be and gratuity, like. and then you write I don't the number. What it used to look like. And then you say, "Well, that's it's still happening." No, but now it's the addition of that. Like, would you like to add a tip? And it gives you all those options. It wasn't like that before. Oh, it had like suggested tip amount below, where it was like, "This is what eighteen would be. This is what twenty would be." I literally don't remember life 15, before 18, life before the iPad. But I always I always tip because I'm like I'll tip. I'm happy to tip the person that made my food back there. But like, I don't want to tip the cashier. Why? Because they're not doing anything. <laughs> they are. The the chef or whoever cooking the food. I like, yeah. I wish they would spread it out. I I literally don't know. I go, don't understand modern tipping culture. Pool. I feel like I'm always the intense. Yeah. Yeah. It depends like on the mood you're in and the mood of the cashier as well, and it's just like a lot of factors at play. Yeah. Yeah. I like, wish someone would make a comprehensive like this is what you need to do well, guide. The, well, you just do what you're that sounds good. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me too. Um, I get confused when I do like DoorDash or whatever. And it's like, do you want to add an extra tip? And I'm like, but I added the regular tip. What is the, where does the first tip go? Am I tipping like the wheels on the bus? I literally don't, like there's nothing about modern tipping culture that I understand. We're, we've lost. Oh plot. yeah. Should I add an extra tip? Should I tip the tip too? Should I tip the three dollar tip? You want to tip me? I want to tip you for asking. I want to tip Grubhub. And then for it's also asking. like when there's a huge delivery fee, it's like, is that the tip? It's hard to say. It's impossible to say. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, and then it, Oh no. <laughs> With that, we leave you. We'll see you in the bonus episode. Click subscribe. Ooh, see you there. This week on Close Friends. You really have pretty feet for a boy. Look at them, they're doing the wave. That's crazy. It's making me uneasy. Sometimes you have to switch it up on these hoes, you know? Well said. To fell asleep on city, Silly Putty. Uh, I would do ago. anything to whiff, to have a whiff of Silly Putty. You are such a grinder. I know, I can't stop grinding. Yeah. Grind 925. Sign up on tmgstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.